Hi, my name is Gayatri Jolly. I'm the founder and CEO of Masterji and Daughters Private Limited, India's first all-women ecosystem for the global apparel industry. Masterji was incorporated in 2020 and is backed by a New York-based impact investment fund called Acumen Fund. I'm a qualified fashion designer from Parsons, New York, and a business graduate from Babson College, Boston. Having worked with companies like Armani, Diane von Furstenberg, I have gained experience in design and management in the fashion industry in New York. I have designed Master G's Breaking Patterns pedagogy and am working towards making it an ideological tool to inspire systemic and generational changes. I am driven to democratize the power of making patterns and provide affordable training to individuals who aspire to but lack access to the tools to realize their fullest potential. Often members, of the industry, often members of the industry underestimate women's skills, ethics, and labor. They are often considered liabilities given how many women are coerced into leaving their jobs or made to compromise their work to balance their household chores. Many belong to families where they do not get the chance to apply for a job as the companies and factories lie way outside their villages or their hometowns. These problems do resurface in our everyday context, but have deeper roots in cultural and social networks, which have run unquestioned for generations. It was this very drive to break out of patterns of systemic inequalities, giving rise to extreme poverty and deplorable conditions of these women that fortified the vision of Master G. My vision of creating social impact through poverty alleviation aligns with glo a global citizen. The apparel industry is buoyed by women's wear, which is why it is almost ironic that those who are trusted and respected with pattern making are master G's, male figures who command authority. An intrinsic part of the traditional Khandani Darzi system, the male dominated arena of pattern making, which excludes women from its ambit. Men carry forward the legacy of these skills, while women remain excluded from the power of decision making and livelihood. Master G recognizes this problem, whereas women, as a result, are forced to live a dependent and financially insecure life. We not only train women through our skill development centers, we also ensure that they are provided with meaningful employment opportunities post-training so that they can live a dignified life. Most women's workforce participation is unorganized and on the lower rungs. Women must play a pivotal role in decision-making and achieve an equal future. In order to achieve this, we collaborate with CSR foundations and impart holistic training and skilling education to women through our imaginative pedagogy in efforts to break this exploitative pattern and provide financial security to women. We have enrolled more than 2,000 women so far in skill development centers across the country, 23 locations and in 10 states. The goal is to reach 10 lakh women by the year 2025 with our various partnerships. It is said that the world is becoming a global village, and as a result, the onus of alleviating global poverty lies upon the global citizen. We plan to scale through our modular and easily replicable courses, which sets, apart, sets us apart from other platforms offering similar courses. We believe in inclusivity and working towards that end to which women are included under the ambit of work in a spirit of equity. The Global Citizen Award shall help us in lobbying with global think tanks to uplift the cause of poverty alleviation. It also will help us to build more avenues to amplify the collaborative efforts of ours with organizations on the front lines of the fight against extreme poverty. We will be able to improve our reach to substantiate our visions of creating more avenues of self-employment and a dignified livelihood. As a social entrepreneur, I understand that it is imperative to exhibit traits of tenacity and adaptability under dire circumstances. Reflecting this, I continue to work towards creating a social impact during the pandemic when the world had come to a standstill. Education and skill development being our focal point, we have imparted lessons through online and hybrid platforms, usurping physical barriers in the path of education, social impact and women's welfare. As a purveyor of skilling education and creating more employment avenues, our focus revolves around setting up training centers and production units. Our capital cost and operational cost entails approximately 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs per annum, respectively. And as for our production units, the capital cost amounts to about 2.5 lakhs. Taking this into consideration, we plan to establish a tentative number of 1,000 training centers and subsequently 25 production units by 2025 to garner employment for women.
We plan to launch our app and generate informative and educational materials for our target audience on a regular basis, making judicious use of the prize money.